Welcome to our video on when to use two-phase heat sinks, namely heat pipes and vapor chambers. Here are four tips to keep in mind when beginning your thermal project. Tip one, use two-phase devices like heat pipes when heat needs to be moved. They have higher thermal conductivity over distances, outperforming metals like solid aluminum or copper, especially beyond 50 millimeters. Further, their bendability allows them to navigate complex layouts. We tune length, wall thickness, wick characteristics, and fluid loading for each customer's unique application. Tip two, when heat needs to be spread in all directions. High heat flux ICs often require efficient spreaders. Vapor chambers are the ultimate performance choice for tight thermal budgets, while embedded heat pipes offer flexibility for various designs. This chart shows the big difference in temperature rise when comparing a solid aluminum base to a vapor chamber base. Tip three, when more fin area is added to dissipate the heat load, effective heat transfer to the outer fins is critical. High aspect ratio fins may require heat pipes to distribute heat to the middle of the fin stack, while larger footprints will benefit most from a vapor chamber at the base. Tip four, prioritize low weight or minimal stack height with a vapor chamber base. It achieves half the thermal resistance of aluminum at a similar weight and saves up to two millimeters or 33% in base thickness for this application. Thanks for watching our video tips for using two-phase heat sinks. At Celsius, we're ready to assist with your thermal management needs. Contact us today to design, prototype, and manufacture the perfect heat sink for your application.